class 10 let's do some problems on class 10 so today I'll start with chapter 12 of class 10 NCRT and Malin Board of School Education textbooks that is the name of the chapter is chapter 12 areas related to circles now before that let's see what is a circle some basic terms related to circles we all know that in a circle we have a center from the center you join to this region is called the circumference of the circle so you join one end of the center to one end of the circumference let's say a then this is the radius if you join the extend the other end to b then this is also the radius from the center and then a b becomes r plus r which is nothing but two times of radius which is also the diameter so uh, if we have a circle with center o and radius r that is center o and radius r then diameter is two times of r diameter is also the longest part in a circle a chord is a line that passes through the circle touching at two ends of the circle so we can have chords like this also this is also a chord this line is also a chord so if we continue like that in that manner then the diameter becomes the longest chord in a circle then we have area not sorry before area perimeter perimeter of a circle now the common concept with perimeter is simply total length of the boundary for any figure so if it is a triangle then if we start from here the total length this total length is simply called the perimeter that's why we add the three sides so similarly if you have a quadrilateral if you start from here then the total length a plus b plus c plus d will be called as the perimeter so in a circle the perimeter is simply if we start from here then perimeter will be this region that is nothing but circumference of a circle so perimeter and circumference they have the same concept for a circle the formula is 2 into pi r area of circle by r square so with this few concept let's try to solve some exercise questions from exercise 12.1 let's say question number one number b1 it says the radii of two circles are 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter respectively so let r1 be the first radius r2 be the second radius then it is given find the radius of the circle as we have to find another radius so let the radius of required circle be let's denote it by capital r Radius of the circle which has circumference equal to the sum of the circumference of the two circles. So let's just find out one by one circumference of first circle will be 2 pi r1 let's leave it like that circumference of second circle 2 pi r2 circumference of required circle 2 pi r then like us per the condition given what do we have 
the circumference of the required circle is equal to circumference of the sum of the two other circles so 2 pi r if you take 2 pi common r1 plus r2 so 2 pi 2 pi so r will be r1 plus r2 that is r1 is 19 centimeter r2 is 9 centimeters so our resultant radius of the required circle will be 28 centimeter again next up question number two the radii radii is the plural form of radius because we have here two circles the radii of two circles are 8 centimeter and 6 centimeter respectively so again let us assume let r1 be 8 centimeter r2 be 6 centimeter question is again find the radius of the circle that means we have to find again a radius of another circle so let the radius of required circle be capital R so the question let's continue with the question find the radius of the circle having area equal to the sum of the areas of the two circles so let's find out area of first circle pi r1 square let's keep it like that again area of second circle pi r2 square area of required circle pi r square so again as per the given condition in the question area of the required circle is equal to area of the sum of the find the radius of the circle having area equal to the sum of the areas of the two circles so pi r square pi common r1 square plus r2 square pi pi we can cancel r square will be r1 so r1 was 8 centimeter r2 6 centimeter 8 centimeter square 6 centimeter whole square 64 centimeter square 36 square there is 100 centimeter square r square so r will be square root of 100 centimeter square since r is a radius radius is a unit of distance so it will be only positive that means r will be 10 centimeter so please go through the videos in the next video i'll upload some more questions from exercise 12.1 signing off from the team of teach nagaland thank you